That's everybody. Everybody that's going. Yeah. The old lady's going? Single file. She's not very fast, I can't imagine. She's spry. <laughs> spry old lady. <laughs> she does a lot of sit and be fit. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another movie from Stephen King and Frank Darabont. Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption. Okay, thank you. Thank you. This one, it's kind of scary, though. The Mist. How scary are we talking here? Um, I can't remember because I haven't seen it since uh, it came out in theaters. Great. But it'll, it should be fun. should be fun for Great. me. Yeah, for you. It should <laughs> be fun for you. Yeah. What else is going through your mind before we jump in? Well, I'm not thrilled about the scary part of it, but I'm excited about the Stephen King part of yeah. it because I've enjoyed almost everything that we've watched written by him so far. Now, this movie was picked out of a poll of all Stephen King movies that we haven't seen. Oh, So boy. this was the one that our Patreon followers wanted you to watch the most out of that whole poll. Okay. All right. I guess that's a good thing. All right. Also, this video is brought to you by... The Coldest Water. They send us these awesome water bottles. You can get your own at thecoldestwater.com. Use code YMTM for 10% off your order. We also have a giveaway going on down below. Click the link down below. Enter to win a water bottle from The Coldest Water. Thecoldestwater.com. Use code YMTM. 10% off. Awesome. Oh, are you ready to jump into the movie now? I guess so. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Because we're watching Stephen King. Mm -hmm. And you picked it. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Also, we have Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow us over there. Oh, yeah. At Yumi, the movies is our social media handle. You get behind the scenes, little pictures, updates. Like we just went to dinner tonight before the movie, and she posted a picture of me for some reason. I don't know why. You little behind the scenes. You got to see him without his hat and glasses on. All so right. there you go. Yeah, check it out. Let's watch The Mist. Let's go. I love jazz music, so we're headed in the right direction. Oh, the thing! It's also Pan's Labyrinth right there, which we haven't watched. The and Good, Bad, and the Ugly? No, that's actually the Stephen Gunslinger King. from the Dark Tower series. Oh. That's Stephen King. That's Stephen King? Yeah, the Dark Tower. The Gunslinger is a character based off Clint Eastwood, though. Oh, God, I was going to say it looks just like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Oh no. Jesus. Yep, felt it in my toes. <laughs> Not a ghost, just a tree. Holy crap! Billy. Come, come on. Whoa. 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 How do you two always manage to make me laugh? You have incredibly low standards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Norton's tree. Uh, yeah? Look at that. What is it, Daddy? Mist? Fog. On the lake? It must be mist. Cause the mist. Coming off the mountain like that? Two fronts meeting. It's coming pretty thick and fast. Struggling with that chainsaw, sounds like. I guess you've seen the boat house. Yeah, and? Nothing. 1980. I was going to bring the station wagon, but I don't know. The weather was so beautiful coming out of New York. I just. You're not um, heading into town today by any chance, are you? Kind of need to ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, are they going to make it back before that mist hits? I don't know. Are they? Daddy, look. Huh. You guys from the base. From up the mountain? Uh-huh. The Arrowhead Project? Any idea what they do up there? They have a crashed flying saucer up there with frozen alien bodies. Right. <laughs> yeah. This tabloid. Uh, Satan's face appears in oil well fire. You know, really. <laughs> That's a lot of National Guard. 
or Air Force Base or whatever they are. Cars like these, I don't know how good it is, but I guess we'll have to make do. Keep your head down, pal. <laughs> your wife should be a doctor. She can make a fortune in Manhattan with his handwriting. Yeah, it takes some. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out today. That's what neighbors do. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh no. What you running from? Something in the mist! Something in the mist! Dan. Took John Lee! Dan, catch your breath. Don't go out there. There's something in the mist. It took John Lee. Close the doors, close the doors, close the doors. Yeah, because, you know, mist isn't going to get through any of the cracks or anything. There will be bodies flying out those windows soon. It's death. Oh, God. What the hell is happening? I can't stay here. Wanda's looking after little Victor. She's only eight. Sometimes she forgets she's supposed to be watching him, you know? Oh, is anybody gonna help me? Sneak out the back. Close the door. Maybe it only eats men. You wish. Is the mist back there? Oh no. Generator. Leaking a lot of exhaust. Lucky he found that. Carbon monoxide poisoning the whole place. Oh. Yeah. Oh god. Oh no. Close that gate. Oh god, no. Oh god! Hey, whoa! David! Hey, you guys hear that? Nobody else heard that sound? What sound? I don't know. Like a uh, weird noise. Like a big monster slamming against the door. Slugged up from the outside. You get it running long enough to raise that door a little? I'll go out and clear whatever's blocking it. No, no, you can't do that. Why not? It's an electric door, right? Well, yeah, but it may not be wise to send him out there. Okay, I'll do it. No, look, it's not about who goes out there. What, don't you think I can do it? It's about going out there. Don't do it. I mean, we're not hearing anything now, right? Anybody? See? <laughs> if they're so unafraid, why wouldn't they have just walked out the front door? The next time you got something to say, you count your teeth. Because I'm sick to death of your bull****. All right? Come on, Myron. This is crazy. It's a mistake. You're still standing there? I'd be, like, out the door, like, trying to blockade them in. <laughs> Hello? Can't see <laughs> Pretty, pretty dense mist there, huh? Just gonna, like, reach in and grab him. Pretty scary, ain't it, Norm? Yeah, right. <laughs> Norm? Norm? What the f ah, Get it off! Get it off! Get this freaking thing off me! Get it off! Help me! Help me! Help me! The axe! The axe! The axe! Oh, God! There's lots of tentacles! Somebody close the damn door! Oh boy. He's a goner now. Oh. Close the fucking door. Like, what are they doing? Oh god. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, you guys. Close the goddamn door. 
is hungry. Oh my god, I just don't like it at all. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Oh, Norm. Will it regenerate a body? Hey, I'm sorry. Tell that to Norm. Duh! Mm. Ah. Yeah, you can puke now. <laughs> Don't say anything. Anybody. Not yet. N not until they start trying to leave. David? Hey, you a little light here? What's that that piece on the ground? What's it doing? Is it crawling around? It's dead. I won't believe it. I have to. I'm not sure I believe it. I was here. Take him the piece. Show him the piece. How do we convince them? Military experiment gone wrong. Or an alien military experiment gone wrong. Gone wrong. Yeah, but the entire front of this door is plate glass. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just crack the whole thing. I'm surprised that hasn't happened already. These guys are real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ain't going very well, is it? Uh uh. You, what? Come here. Get out. He's like, you're f***ing with me, right? I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm just not that stupid. I mean, what do you take me for? I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Show I'm shocked. him. It's, it's pretty the chunk. Bring the tentacle to him. All we saw were tentacles. Tentacles, he says. Tentacles from Planet X. Pile of shit. Of course, it's a lie. Of course, it's a lie. It's lunacy. Wrap it up in that butcher paper. Drag that shit out here. Show everybody. What the hell is that? Yeah. Jesus. Oh no. Now it's dead. Well, now they don't have any proof to show anybody else. It appears we may have a problem of some magnitude here. Giant tentacles. Weird fang things. Yeah, the biker the and the manager saw that's enough of, you know. Yeah, the biker and the manager. They're good. Yeah. Totally perfect judges of character. God, they're going to need a lot of friggin' dog food. I just need to use the bathroom. Oh. Okay, well then, I've had it. Well, if you need a friend, you know, someone to talk to. I have a friend. God up above. You don't mock me. That's not what I was doing. <laughs> a little defensive. The day I need a friend like you, I'll just have myself a little squat and <laughs> one out. Damage, the way and you can throw as much cow's blood around the loading dock as you want to. You still haven't fooled anyone. Leave it alone, David. You can't convince some people there's a fire even when their hair is burning. Well, keep talking. I'll have no part of it, nor would any thinking person. He's making it real hard to like him. Isn't it? Uh, those of you who want to discuss this thing rationally to find a means of rescue are welcome to join me. Those who want to stack dog food, knock yourselves out. If you're so convinced that it's not, there's nothing out there, why isn't he walking out the damn doors? Means of rescue, save yourself if you're not afraid. It's not good. But there's none so blind. Ooh, Rocky Road cars. I like those. Stack them. Marshmallow will protect you from anything. Mm -hmm. Revelations, chapter 15. Where are they hiding all this manure? Potting soil. Well, what are you saying? What are you proposing? That we all prepare to meet our maker. Oh, prepare to meet sh Lady, your tongue must be hung in the middle so that it can waggle at no, both ends. End time. <laughs> Look, you'll have to stop now. You're scaring the children. They should be scared. Oh, yes. They should. 
Oh, geez. As, as Abraham prepared to sacrifice his only son to prove his love for God. So, enough. Ooh. Another down payment. Oops. Now that's nice. See, I can't smack her, but it's okay for you. <laughs> you should know that Mrs. Carmody is known in town for being unstable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What was your first clue? <laughs> Mommy loves you very much. And I bet she's fine. Except for that huge window in your house that was broken. Think Mommy's all right? No. Los Angeles. I've got a shotgun in my truck. I could try for it if you want. Oh, God, I don't think that'd be a good idea, Mr. Cornell. Hold on. This oh, yeah, one. conceal carry. There you go. You know how to use that? <laughs> well, I shot it once on a pistol range. So, we got a gun. With 12 rounds. <laughs> Let us pass, please! Let's just talk this thing through. We have, and we made our decision. We're leaving. Hey, chicken on the gas grill. Why don't we just sit down and what? just... Let, let them leave. And no offense, Mrs. Carmody, but the only way we're going to help ourselves is to seek rescue. Free will. Gotta love it. Are you throwing in with them? Me? No, thanks. But I'm thinking we could use that shotgun of yours. Red pickup, right? Fire entrance. Son, you got brass balls. <laughs> I'll cut her loose, just so you understand. Yeah. He's got that covered. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> There's nothing out there. Nothing in the mist. What if you're wrong? Then I guess the joke would be on me. After all. Don't say he didn't warn you. So how long did it last? Like, uh, 35 seconds or so. Well, you, you take that up with the devil when you run into him. You just chat it over at your leisure. <laughs> Her character's crazy, and I like it. <laughs> He's reached his destination. It's going. You're doing good. <laughs> hey, let go, let go, let go, let go. Why would you keep holding on? How could you not anticipate that was going to happen? Oh, it's in the air now. You're going to want to let go of that rope and close the door. Can you say the gun's attached to it? Oh, it's all bloody. Oh, jeez. Close the door. Well, I made it halfway back. Real fast. There's about a half hour daylight left. How it happens at night? I don't want to know. <laughs> but I guess we're going to find out. Oh, they're out of town right now. They're at my aunt's in Boston. So. Lucky. Yeah. Unless this is scouring the nation, you just don't know. Just like the kingdom of spiders? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> How come you never asked me out? I've flirted all through high school. I know you like me. No time like the present. Oh, there you go. Can we just stay in here a while then? Hey, just, just you and me. I'm gonna play Uno. <laughs> What's that flying out there? Ah! Oh. Like an alien fly. Oh, God, no. It's like a scout. Great. Maybe turn your lights off? Are they like moths? Attracted to the lights? Wow. Look at those stingers. Stingers. Oh, God, that would not feel good. Pterodactyls now, like you turn the lights off. The light. the light. Why are they all turning the lights on? 
say to the seven angels. Go. Why are we not communicating better? Some are turning lights off, some are turning lights on. Oh my god. Oh. Batting practice. How'd it go? Sons of bitches. <laughs> Great. Super. Ooh. Go, go. Get some sort of lighter working. Jesus. Oh, God, that's gross. <laughs> Is unfortunate. Oh, Jesus, this is such a show. Prepared to meet her maker at least. I don't think she was sweet enough. I think you got it. Oh god, 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 no, 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 no. God, no, not the kid. Why did we not think to like barricade, make a barricaded place for the children? <laughs> Put them in the bathroom. Put them anywhere else, but in the midst of all of this. Maybe she was allergic. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure an EpiPen would have saved her there. <laughs> she said that they would come at night. She told us someone would die. Did she tell you like eight people would die? Didn't know anything could hurt like this. If, if, she, if you guys can't help me. Kill him. Yeah. Hattie. I need to go to the bathroom. Will you watch Millie? She's probably dead. I got my four wheel drive. Out there. You're talking about leaving? Well, we should hit the pharmacy first. What about your son? Look, my Land Cruiser can hold eight people. I say we drive south as far as the fuel takes us and try to get clear of this mist. That's it? That's the plan? That's what I got. Yeah. How many rounds? We got ten left. Ten rounds, Jesus. Okay, so ten. Want another reason to get the hell out of here? I'll give you the best one. Mrs. Carmody. Our very own Jim Jones. <laughs> He's right. You don't have much faith in humanity, do you? None whatsoever. I can't accept <laughs> that. People are basically good, decent. Mm -hmm. oh my God, David, we're a civilized society. <laughs> they get. You scare people badly enough. You can get them. It's true. Anything. When they're scared, I'll they. Turn. To they, whoever yep. A Civility goes out the door when people get scared. Why do you think we invented politics and religion? <sighs> just, just next door. <laughs> You'll be safe. If you die, who takes care of him? They'll come and eat you up. <laughs> Daddy, don't go. <laughs> and what's a kid? I think it's a bad idea. Right. You'll make him notice us. You make them come. As if they haven't already noticed you. Well, it is this kind of hubris 
that brought the wrath of God in the first place. This kind of pride and defiance of the... <laughs> Stoning people who piss you off is perfectly okay. They do it in the Bible, don't they? <laughs> That's everybody. Everybody that's going. Yeah. The old lady's going? Single file. She's not very fast, I can't imagine. She's spry. <laughs> spry old lady. <laughs> she does a lot of sit and be fit. I feel like I'd be moving faster than that, right? She's got her little basket. She's <laughs> oh, so good. They all gonna die? No. Maybe one or two of them, though. Hopefully not the old lady. I like her. Oh, the doors are open. Great. The mist made it in there. Think something got in? No. It's just... It's misty in there for no reason. <laughs> Jim? What's the weird, like, webbing stuff? Silver Dean. Got it. Good. Ollie, what are we That stuff is like a miracle cream. It's like a giant spider. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, God. You got company. Something weird. <laughs> giant ass spider is what it is. God. No. No. Oh no. Shut up, Jim. No. Guys, let's get out of here now. <gasps> There's your friend. There's your neighbor. Oh sorry. Help me. Still alive? Oh no, he's a military police guy. It's all our fault. It's all our fault. Oh no, it's like alien. Oh god, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. <gasps> oh, it laid eggs in him. Oh Jesus. Oh shit. Oh god, no. Oh my god. Yeah, run. Oh god, god. Oh, there. There's one ugly mother. Oh god. Is that not like your worst nightmare? It's maybe my worst nightmare. Oh no, not the old lady. I really like her. Good on you, hon. Great life choices. She got bug spray. Oh, big Close those doors? I mean, close the doors? Called it, two of them, right? Yeah. What will end it? Let me hear it. Expiation! Expiation! What the hell does expiation mean? Kind of probably like expulsion. Cleansing. I'd rather die out there trying than in here waiting. I feel like I might give it one more day. I want to save you. I want to walk with you into my father's hands. Great. What's Jim going to try to do? Oh, no. I do it. I just... I didn't think they would. Oh, Jesus. This mist. It's some kind of what? Military. F*** up. What were you guys messing with up there, huh? We got you now, you sorry son of a bitch! Oh, great. They must have ripped a hole open by accident. This other world came spilling through to ours. What a sh**ty other world. Ain't his fault. No, no, no. Well, it's not. He's just a kid. The fiends of hell, you see, they are let loose. And Star Wormwood blazes. <sighs> She's long-winded. <gasps> what the f Well, they don't really
really have any options now. <laughs> Leaving? Yeah, they're going to have to. What's this fella? The beast will leave us alone tonight. Tomorrow. The hell it will. Just gonna keep feeding it people? Probably. Stealing food now? You can't go out. I won't allow it. Won't allow it? It's against God's will. It is these people who brought this upon us. They, people who refuse to bend. To Perhaps they just want the opportunity to meet their maker. It's from them. The blood of human sacrifice must come from them. The blood of expiation. We want the boy. You we want the what? This got a little bit out of hand a little too soon. Yeah, kill her. Good call, Ollie. I killed her. Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> I wouldn't have shot her, Dave. Not if there'd been any other way. That's why I said thank you. Okay. Okay, then. Let's go! Get up, Byron! Come on! Byron! Byron! Ambrose! I'm get broken! Oh, oh Jesus! Ollie! Oh, man. <sighs> so everyone dies then. Is this the, how this happens? Just bounces around in the, the mist. Time to get going. For the two bullets, leave it, let it go. No, stop screaming. Oh. Drive. Get moving. That's gonna like pop up on the window. Please go. Oh, please f***ing go. Why is it taking him so long? It's like gonna end this way too, right? We're never gonna know what happens to them. That's not good. Keep on driving. Keep driving, buddy. Oh, no. They're in Maine. Yeah. And they've made it to Portland, and it's still misty. It's not a good sign. Oh, God. Oh, good lord. That one looks kind of friendly. Yeah. That 
that feeling you get when you realize that no matter what you do, you're gonna die in this mist. Boy, that sucks. Is he gonna kill his boy? Because he promised him he wouldn't let the monsters get him. Won't be, I mean, it won't be hard to find a way to die out there, I guess. But gosh. That's gonna be impossible. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. somebody just shoot him, right? Like, put him out of his misery. Just shoot him. What the f Stephen King? To his defense, that's not the ending of the novella. Well, what the f Frank Darabond? <laughs> Good God. What a shitty fucking way to end it. But to not let Stephen King off the hook, he said Frank Darabond's ending was better. I would have rather they all died. I would have rather him being take by that mon taken by that monster than have to... Yeah, I think uh, Stephen King's ending is ambiguous yeah i think i would a little have, bit of hope i would have preferred ambiguous this was dark hope and lost and then that's not hopeful at all no. i mean well i mean for hope was lost for the group and then he ends the group to find out that it was yeah didn't uh, have to do that worst ending in the world yep perfect yeah. nailed it worst ending ever but stephen king said that ending was bit frank darabont's ending was better for the overall theme of the story he was telling and he was like, he actually said, why didn't I think of that? I just don't under, like, what is the moral of this story? Don't f*** with things you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, but the the I mean, ending, like, what yeah. is the moral of, like, what is the point of that ending? Other than to just make you feel like complete s***. Yeah. I would have rather him be taken by the mist at the end, and yeah. it be a, a sad ending, rather than the most gut wrenching, painful ending possible. Yeah. Thanks, Patreon. <laughs> I, I think the moral of the story is: wait until the monsters eat you. Happens. <laughs> <It> happens. <laughs> Go ahead and wait until the monsters are just about to eat you before you shoot everybody in your party, huh? Yeah. Just wait a little longer. Maybe starve to death next time. I don't know. Oh, God. I hate that he had to kill his son. Yeah, it sucks. What else is on your mind? Nothing. Just that that sucked really bad. Yeah. So glad we watched it. <laughs> you were all for Stephen King stories until this one. Of course, I mean, his ending was different. Yeah, it's the ending that... I liked the whole 
I mean, it was terrifying, but I yeah. liked the whole story until the very end. You know? yeah. Ruined the movie for me. Not that I think all movies should have happy endings. Like, I was okay with the ending had he been taken by the mist there at the end, yeah. but I'm not okay with that ending. Well, maybe there is a lesson to be learned from that ending. Don't give up hope so soon. Right? Keep trying to go until you can't go anymore. I guess. What do you think of the monsters? Yep, everything nightmares are made of. Yeah. A lot of the monsters, I think it's H.P. Lovecraft or whatever, kind of what the basis of the monsters was, his his monsters and his stories. And uh, what's that? They were very like... Cthulhu. War of the worlds Yeah. Uh, is it Cthulhu? I can't remember how to say it, but the god of the deep, as they call it, was supposed to be like the... It's his dimension, I think, is oh. where those monsters came from. Looked a little kaiju-like, Yeah, some of them. Like that big one mm -hmm. was very Cthulhu-like. All right, what should people comment on? I have no idea. Your favorite monster from the mist? Yeah. What was right. your favorite monster of the mist? Do you like spiders? No. <laughs> no. The big pterodactyl things? Or the... Or the big tentacle monster. I wanted to see what the what that the whole like. tentacle monster yeah, looked too. like, right? Yeah, the tentacle. Unless are that's creepy. what maybe the big thing kind of was. Just I don't know. Let us know your favorite monster from the mist, and if you've read the novella and watched the movie, tell us the differences and the endings and which one you prefer, right? Also, did the neighbor live? Did he yeah, make it never... out? They never showed him at the end, so I'm assuming he died. Yeah. But wouldn't that have been a gut punch if he was in another one of those transports because yep. what's her name drove by with mm -hmm. her kids so she got home and saved her kids and got out but what about the neighbor yeah yeah would have been even more of a gut punch if he yeah got out right sure would have yeah. been yeah anything else like comment subscribe check out the coldest .com. use code ymtm if you want 10 percent off your order keep your water nice and cold for up to 36 hours and bottles float also if you got warm drinks keep it warm Check it out. You can get 10% off your order with code YMTM. We also have a giveaway going on down below. Great water bottles. Check it out. TheColdestWater.com. Also, we have a Patreon if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.